Yo, there's a war going on outside. No man is safe from. Yo, what up, troops? This video is about the six things to avoid if you miss the nice guy. Okay, if you're doing these things, guys, don't do them. Okay, these six mistakes are these mistakes are killers. Now, when we talk about uh, nice guy, um, you know, uh, the friendly guy, the you know, the good guy. Okay. Where does the stuff come from, okay? Now, women always say, oh, I want a good guy. Where are all the good guys at? Society says the same thing. It's they, they just drill this, this idea of good guy, okay? In our systems, and we go, oh, oh, okay, what women want. They want a good guy, right? So we fall into that fray. We fall into what makes women think that I'm a good guy, okay? So they kind of set the narrative for us. It's a false narrative here because that's not how women operate. They don't operate that way. But as men, you know, boom, I didn't know. I was supposed to know that, you know. We find these things out later on in life as we get older, as we experience relationships, as we experience this heartbreak and experience being too nice and what it costs us, okay. Most people are nice people, right? Most guys are nice guys until that first breakup, that first girlfriend, that first kiss, that first cheat, she cheated on you or whatever or vice versa or whatever. But we all experience the nice guy thing at first. We're told to be nice to girls, treat them nice, the sugar and spice, and everything nice. You understand? All that menage, all right? So we get conditioned to believe all these things, okay, internally. So we act as such, okay? Now, especially when you meet a girl that's, that, that, you're really, that you're really into, you want to make a good impression on her, right? So you think that's logic. That makes sense. It's not what they, you know, respond to. So, um, let's get into that a little bit now. So, how do we get into, how do we get to the point where guys lose women's attraction for being nice, okay? You want to be, you know, you want to be with a girl that, that wants a nice guy, don't you? Of course. How do we do that, though? We've gotten so screwed up on what society means and what she actually really wants and vice versa. So, we're all fucked. It's a mind fuck. Total mind fuck. All right? So I'm going to clear it up for you right now. This video is going to clear some things up, okay? Now, I'm going to give you six crucial ones. These are crucial, um, and they lead to different parts of, of nice guyism. But there's a broad range of nice guy. I don't have enough video to do all the niceties that cause these problems. So what I'll do is hit some, hit some of the common ones that we all can kind of relate to, and from there, navigate our way out of this situation if you're in it right now, or you will be. Depending on how hot the girl is, when you see them in life, a lot of times the hotter the girl is, the harder it is to remember this shit. That's why I want you to just check the videos out and just go over them. So, uh, for you guys just walk, just joining in, welcome, subscribe, comment below, welcome to the channel, part of the family, jump on in. All right, troops? All right, so let's continue. Let's go on, okay? So, why, what happens when a guy meets a girl, okay? We are designed by a man to, to automatically feel like, we feel like automatically that I got to do something for her. I got to take action. When I meet a girl, like I gotta do something, okay? So with society now, we're kind of taught to, you know, uh, you wanna put your best foot forward, okay, when it comes to a girl, your best foot, okay? Um, and that's wrong now, we know that. Be a nice guy, yeah, be a nice guy, good, 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 but don't go too far. The problem is, we take it too far, we don't know it, because every woman's, every woman's different. So the nice guy, what nice guys tend to do is they have to prove they want to impress the girl, okay? The average nice guy will be like, you know, hey, I got a date. I got to show this girl that I'm not like other guys. I'm different from other guys. Um, I'm kind. I'm courteous. I'm cheerful. Um, I, I I do, you know, I, I care about her whereabouts. I can, I do this. I, I, I make sure I'm better than all the guys that she's ever been around with. I'm going to be unforgettable. Got it? And in lieu of all that, feel you've got to do something. You got to make all the, you got to do the move. You got to make it happen. Okay. And that's the right approach. But if your frame is correct, you're a nice guy. Let's roll up be a nice guy, like I said. But nice guys, there's a thin line. Okay. There's a thin line with that. And here's some of the mistakes that guys make. Okay. Now, uh, let's go with the number one, I would say. Trying to impress a girl. Okay. Trying to impress a girl, showing her how nice you are, that you're a good guy. It's not a bad idea, but you overdo it. And for her, 
it reads you're trying to please her you're trying to seek her approval so that behavior that good boy behavior i'm gonna be a good little boy for her it shows it rings to her and she reads it as try hard um you tr you're, you're you're um you know you're overdoing it you're 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 trying to you you don't have you know uh something's missing that you have to overcompensate okay and 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 show her hey i'm a nice guy i'm a nice guy i'm a nice guy got it it's a turn off for women it turns her off because you're not in a position for of of a neutral position where she has to work for you too she's got to prove herself to you as well you don't give her that option okay because you're overdoing the proving i'm a good guy hey look at me you know hey i you know i'm care i'm there for you i share so I care their share, you know, uh, and let me know. I got this. I got you no matter what, this and that. She's too much certainty, guys. You're giving too much certainty. So she reads that. That comes off as too much free validation. She feels validated. She doesn't have to worry, worry about anything. You just give her everything she needs to know. And she doesn't know you. Okay. This is all first meeting a guy. So uh, first meeting a girl, guys. So when you're first meeting a girl, you can't give her all this value for no reason. She knows she didn't earn it. She knows deep down it's offsetting to her. It makes her feel funny because she didn't really earn it. It comes off a little weird to her. Okay? You mean, you mean well. You know, I get it. We get it. As men, we get it. But she's like, not too soon. Not too fast. Okay? Let's move on. Number two. And these are in any order too, okay? So, number two is compliments. Over complimenting the girl. Okay? You meet up. It's only a meetup, guys. You're, in a, you're holding a neutral position. When you meet someone for the first time and you're just talking, even the first date, okay? A meetup's not a date. Check my video out, okay? On meetups versus pickups. A meetup is just meeting of the minds, okay? You got to remember that because another problem with these guys, a lot of times these nice guys come in, really, really, most guys, not even nice guys this time, most guys come in to a meetup Meeting for the first time, either coffee shop, uh, you know, the ice cream parlor or whatever, fruit uh, food court or whatever, and they meet up and the guy assumes a boyfriend role. That's a mistake, okay? Now, in this case, the same thing. It's still a meetup, but the, the nice guy will, will compliment her. He'll, he'll make her feel. And why does he do that? He compliments her to check the, to check the test her barometer of her attitude. She has a good attitude. Is she is she mean person? Is she nice? To feel what kind of person she is. And the woman, she knows that. So the compliments, but she okay, you can have a compliment, but you can you can do a nonverbal compliment by looking at her a certain way. You know, raise an eyebrow, you know, nonverbal, light, subtle compliment, not verbalizing it. You can verbalize it, but I wouldn't on the first date. You don't know as the first meetup, number one. You wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. But you give her the eye. You can look and appreciate her with your eyes. Got it? Then she can. She, then she's imp it's implied that I like what I see. Got it? This way it's still a mystery because you didn't say it. Got it? So that's how it works. So don't, don't over compliment. Oh, your shoes. I like your nails. Wow, was those, that's a new pocketbook? I like that. Is that is that an MK? Oh, I like MK. Yeah, I, you know. Oh, is that the hat that goes with the hair? I like how that, you know. That she's like, okay, you're doing too much. Number one, she's gonna she's gonna read this as number one. You know, you're not used to dating girls that look as good as her, and that's a scarcity mindset, okay? Because you're over overrating her. You understand? And it doesn't it doesn't sound authentic either, okay? You know, you come in, what do you know about nails and hair? Unless you do nails and hair, okay? Then you got a topic, okay? Then you got something to talk about. But if you don't do nails and hair, she gets into, uh, oh, this is Shanani, and this is so-and-so, and this and that, and you be like, oh, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, okay, uh, great. Then you go, oh, yeah, okay, I like that. Now she knows you're bullshitting, all right? And that's where shit backfires on you because you don't have any depth to that conversation, but you brought it up, okay? So uh, number three, having a friendly conversation. Friendly is great. That's what you are. They have to be friendly to communicate, to interact with this woman and on a man to female to female uh, uh, dynamic. However, if you're talking to her friendly, 
and you know, um, you know, none of none of it is sexual. It's all non-sexual, light, friendly, fluffy conversation that really goes nowhere. You know, uh, because you're afraid to, uh, you're afraid to offend her. I don't want to offend her. I don't want to make her mad. You know, they got YouTube. Uh, they got Me Too now, and all these other movements going on, and, and feminist stuff. And I don't want to make her. You know, guys, listen. If you hesitate to escalate. She's going to be out. It what it tells her is that you're afraid. You know, you're not confident in your masculinity, number one. Okay. And you, she's too much for you. Okay. You can't handle her. Okay. Because if you're afraid to, to escalate verbally, shit. What you going to do with her sexually, physically? You can't, you can't even, she doesn't have time to wait for you to become a man in that moment couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of years to, to, to say, okay, we're going out for three years now. Let's have sex. <laughs> you know, she doesn't want to, for her, she doesn't want to wait for you to become a man to have sex with her. Not only that, when you, when you talk to her in a friendly, a friendly vibe like that, it takes away the sexual tension. You don't have that in there and she doesn't feel desired by you. Okay. If she feels desired by you, she can reciprocate that and bring desire for you also when she sees it. Oh, he's shit. Okay. Hmm. She gives her a look back. And it's, now it's an eye game. Nonverbal, very sexual, very, it builds tension. But you didn't do that because you don't want to offend her, remember? So that's a dub. This is going to repel her. These things are going to piss her off or going to annoy her. Okay. You're a nice guy, but there's no attraction here. There's no traction. There's nothing to grab on. There's no spark. These are all sparkless, meaningless meetings. Okay. Let's continue. So don't do this shit, man. <laughs> so number four is um, being too agreeable. Too agreeable, you know, uh, you know, whatever she says, it's fine. You're fine with it because why? I don't ruffle, I don't want to ruffle her feathers up. You know, I don't want to get her. I don't know her yet. I got to get to know her to, you know, to get comfortable. I want to comfortable before I, before I say something out of line. I want to stay in line. I don't want to get out of line with her out of place. You know what I mean? So by default, you not standing up and not standing your ground. She's got you checked. She checked you. You know, she got you in check from the rip, okay? So she already has all the power. You give her the power, okay, to accept you or not. You have nothing to hold on to. You're not standing up for yourself. You don't speak up for yourself. She could say some shit like, uh, uh, you got a football jersey on or something, or, what, or this football's on TV, and you're sitting there meeting up, and say, uh, I don't know, Yankees are on. You go, she looks at and goes, you like the Yankees? And you go, yeah, they're, they're a great team. They're awesome, you know. You know, they got 27 wins, da 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 She goes, I hate them. They, they, I don't like the Yankees. I don't like the Yankees, you know. I'm like the Pirates or some shit. And you go, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, the Pirates in 72 had a good team. You know, I really liked, uh, you know, so-and-so. Yeah, he was, he was good, too. She's going to look at you and go, she doesn't know about baseball. She doesn't know about the teams. But, she, but the fact that you was too agreeable and you broke your standards and you said, you know, I think about it, you know. Yankees aren't that good either. I don't think they're that good, you know. And see, right there, you're inconsistent. You're incongruent, okay? She's going to read this as you're unauthentic, unauthentic again. She's not going to trust your, trust your judgment. She's going to feel unsafe because you can't stand your ground, all right? Hey, I was trying to be nice, but she's not reading it. The way she's reading it is that you're not going to stand your ground. You're not going to protect her. Something happens. You're going to fold like a cheap chair, all right? And, uh, you know, and not protect her, take care of yourself and run out the wet, run out the door. Something happens, a guy wants to confront her. You're going to let it happen. What'd you do? I told you, you should have said that to him. Why you took, sorry, man, we, we apologize, you know, both of us. <laughs> so shit like that, you know? So don't fall into that fray, man, you know? And also, uh, being agreeable falls into that line of apologizing too much, you know? That's part of this number four is because you're so agreeable, you know, this is something that you don't like, or you say something she doesn't like, matter of fact, and, and then you start apologizing. Guys, never apologize for your beliefs, your convictions. Again, with this number four, stand your ground. This is a big one. This is a big one. It tells you what kind of man you are. She's going to say, okay, at least he's a nice guy, but at least he stood his ground. He stood up to me. He stood up to me. Okay, he stood, he, he got me in check. He said, you know, he got me, you know, I, I realized, you know, he wasn't going to put up with everything I gave to him, so... I, I give him some credit for that. And she will. Okay? So stand your ground, guys. I don't care if it's something that sounds innocuous and stupid. If it's your belief, it's your belief. Don't change it for nobody. 
okay? That's that's a big one, okay? So you be so being agreeable like that and giving your power away like that, she's gonna have no respect for you. She's gonna lose all respect. She's gonna read you as weak. She's gonna say you can't protect her. She's gonna be unsafe around you. You can't protect her. You can't protect the kids. You can't protect the future. You can't protect because you're fold too cheap. You're weak. All right. So let's go on to number five. And don't be date happy. Okay. Now you out with a girl. And you're a nice guy. You're having a great time. I get it. You're sharing. You're like, oh, wow, we're talking. This is great. Blah, 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 blah. Yo, I'm having a good time. And you're talking to everybody. And, you, yo, the bartender's having fun. And you're talking. And you, she's sitting there just watching the game. And she's okay. But she's just, you know, she's wanted, she wants she wanted a date. You know? But you're having such a good time. You're having more fun than she is on the date. Guys, don't do that. Don't have more fun. Don't be having more fun on your date than your date. All right, because when you do that, you know, you're showing her because you're looking at her saying, hey, you know, I had a great time. You had a good time today? She goes, yeah, I'm having a, that's OK. You know, you go, OK, she's not having a good time. OK, you're having more time, greater time than she is. OK, that tells her, number one, is that, first of all, you're not in tune. OK, the fact that you're happier than her on the date means that. She's making you feel euphoric the fact that you're with her. She's going to read it as, wow, he's not used to having a girl this cute or this beautiful, okay? Because you're having a good time with her. Yes, you're attentive. You watch the game a little bit, but then you're more into if she's having a good time or not, okay? You're happy to be on the date. and You express this verbally. I'm having a great time, you know? You keep looking at it. You're walking around, having a good time. This is great. Wow, I like this. This is good. You understand? She's going, yeah, yeah. She having a good time? Absolutely not. Because women are taught to be nice. They're taught to smile, okay? And, and just go along with it until get the fuck out of there when they can, okay? If she was engaged with you, you were engaged with her, you ain't got to ask her if she's having a good time or not. You'll know, okay? She'll be holding on to you, giving you IOIs and flirting with you back and forth. You'll banter with her. You'll be, you'll be having an inter, inter exchange back and forth, okay? You keep asking her if she's okay. It's not going to work, which leads to um, number, number six, okay? Because five is being date happy, which leads to you, you know, not being sure if she's having a good time or not, which leads to number six, which is being too attentive, okay? Now, if I'm just asking her, is she okay? You okay? You, you okay? You okay? She's fine, you know? She goes, yeah, yeah, I'm good, you know? I was at bar yesterday. And um, there was there was a guy, you know, you know, the bar scene, was, you know, TV and everything. And this this chick was sitting down, and this guy approached her, whatever, talking to her, whatever, talk to her, how you doing, what's up, whatever, whatever. She's kind of like, yeah, what's up, you know, hi, whatever. She ordered food, so the food came, and the guy's talking to her, and she's yeah, no, whatever, whatever. And the guy, you know. She, she she had utensils and the bartender, you know, they just put the stuff down and they go about their way. So she had to reach out to get her stuff is up here in front. Okay. She's back here and she's talking. She's not ready to eat yet. She's just talking, whatever. And the guy's sitting there and he sees her like her setup. So he starts grabbing stuff. He starts grabbing a grabbing a, a coaster for her drink. He starts getting um her, her her forks and stuff for her and setting up a table for her, setting up a fucking plate. You understand? She left it there, you know, and who knows? It could have been a shit test. But she left everything there, you know, and he's making sure that she's got everything lined up nice and, and you know, being a, being his fucking, you know, being a fucking man mommy and shit, you know? Don't be a fucking male mommy. She don't need a male mommy. You're too attentive. Leave her alone. Let her get her shit, you know? She knows where the fork is at. She knows where the knife is at. Guys, don't, because she can't breathe. When you do that, you know, you don't want to be her male mommy, okay? You know, oh, uh, the school bus is coming, you know, here, take your coat, here's your bag, put your hat on, here's the gloves, here's the rubber boots, go get on the bus, go to school. Okay, ma, stop. Ah! <laughs> you know, you're fucking being a male mommy. Don't do that, guys. Leave her alone. She knows where the fork is, the knife, the glass, the coast that she wanted one. She can ask you for whether she wants one. Don't just give her all this shit because you're placating to her, okay? It's supplicative, number one, and it tells her, it tells her that you're, you're uncertain. And you're not sitting holding your frame with her. And all this nervous energy is going to make her uneasy as well. You're uncertain if she's having a good time. You know, you have a good time. 
so you got the, the, the four and five and six right here, um, the, the happy date and, and the um, being date happy and, and being too attentive. You have to have the good time and all, all through this whole thing, you should be enjoying yourself. She, she's along for the ride, okay? You're, you're there, you invited her, she's, in, she's coming to your party, okay? You gotta be having a good time for her to have a good time. She can't have a good time. You keep stopping and what you're doing and going, hey, can you, did you, did you, do you need anything? You cold? Are you cold? You want a, you want a coat? No? Okay. Oh, you hot? Too hot? You know, we fan her. Shit like that. Don't do that, man. Don't mother her and nurture her. She's hot and shit. She, she know how to cool down herself. You know, drink some more water or something. She's not how to cool down, but don't, don't fucking stop fanning her and shit. You know, you're not in church. You know what I mean? So stop all that, guys. Don't, don't overdo it. If she needs something, she know how to ask for it. All right? That's a big one. You start mothering her because that's going to let her know that you're smothering her. She's not going to be able to breathe around you. You won't give her space when you get you do get together. She have no space to breathe, and she can't be herself and be an individual, have her own individual independence around you. You're going to be all clingy. You're coming off clingy and needy. Okay, reverse needy by nurturing, being codependent, helping, helping. She needs me. She needs me. Okay, women are independent these days. Okay, she doesn't need you like that. Okay, so that right there, don't ever do that shit. If you're doing it, stop doing it. Don't do it. You want to do it, don't do it. All right? So, what does this all mean? Okay, so, what this all means is like, you know, what's the, what's her problem, man? Why? I, I, want, I want to love her. I want to give her my care. I want to show her that I've got the goods. Right? Okay. But see, you understand, you got to understand. That's something that women have to open slowly. It's it's a it's an onion. It has to. It, she she's thinking logically in a meetup, in a meeting, a first meeting or a date. She's thinking logically. Your job is to bring her logic down and raise her emotions, okay? By your actions, by making her feel good, by laughing, making her feel comfortable, okay? Sharing bantering back and forth, positive, negative banter, positive, body language, negative body language. You've got to give a, 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 a cornucopia of, of emotions so she can get a projection and a, a perception of your personality. When she's not getting that, she shuts down. She pulls back because she's not getting a real read on your personality. Okay? That's what's really going on here. And that's her fucking job. Okay? So you're being nice makes her feel like something's up. Why do I say that? Because women know, okay, because what happens is the second you guys meet, okay, her filters, her job is to filter out and to, to uh, filter out and screen out all weak and undesirables, okay? All the gen genetically weak, undesirable men. Okay, they are not candidates for her evolution. Whether she's having kids or not, it doesn't matter. Her body knows, her nervous system responds that way. So it doesn't matter if she wants to have a kid or not. That's irrelevant. But how she operates is not irrelevant. It's very relevant. Okay, so her job is to seek and sort out the weak behaviors. The man that, that can't hack it. He can't make it. He's not going to do it. It's a dub. It's a dub. Nope, 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 nope. And they do this with reckless abandon. That's why... You say, we had a good time. I don't know what happened. She said she was having a good time when I asked her. And she just fucking ice cold. She just, she just took off. Right. She ghosted you. Ice cold. No remorse. Because why? You wasted her time. When you do, when you behave this way with nice guys, women understand. Okay. Here's what they think about. Women say, listen. When women meet guys, they wear makeup. Okay. They cover up. Okay, so because we see them visually and externally from long distance, long range, we go, oh, shit, she's cute, bop, 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 and we're attracted, okay? Women know that our makeup, okay, you guys should know this, okay? They know it. You better know it, all right? If you don't know, I'm telling you now. Women know that our makeup is the good guy mask. That's the good guy in mask because everybody's a good guy in the beginning. Hey, how you doing? Boom, what's up? Ba 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 ba. Women know that they've been tricked before. <laughs> they've been tricked before. All right. I mean, we all been tricked. We listen, men and women, we manipulate each other, man. That's the bottom line. Okay. 
But what I'm saying to you is women understand the cover up. There's two ways to cover up. Men cover up one way. Women cover up another way. Hers is, hers is physical. Ours is mental. So that works. See how the switch is? We attract physical. They attract mental, emotional from in here. So our, our makeup is our word of mouth, our behavior, okay, and how we respond and how we respond to her in a masculine way. It breaks down her emotional barriers. Got it? I'm, I'm sorry, it breaks down her logical barriers and raises her emotional barriers and she can fall for the bait. Okay? The same way a girl with beautiful makeup, red lips and eyes and this and that, they know that when you get to meet them the next morning, they ain't going to be the same person. They're going to have that makeup coming off and shit. They got flaws. Their makeup covers their flaws. The nice guy image and the nice guy mask covers our flaws. Okay? That's just how it is, but women understand that. that's why nice guys, if they are too, too, too perfect, no one's perfect, no one's perfectly nice and do everything right. That's suspect to them. And that's why they second guess a nice guy. You can't be that nice. Come on, he's, he's got a human too. Yeah, that's true. But they want to see some remnant, remnants of that, some evidence of your personality. Oh, he gets mad when I do this. That's why they should test you. Okay. Oh, he gets mad when I do that. He gets mad when I do this. And, and nice guys fail this test a lot. The shit test, like a little simple one. She can do a subtle one on the spot. Like her car keys over there, right next to you're here. Her car keys are over here. She turns to, can you get my car keys for me? I don't, I don't, where you get my car keys? Have you seen them? I don't, I don't know where my car keys are. And, you, and nice guy be like, oh yeah, over there. Hold on, let me get it. Get out this chair, go around, get it. Here they are. I found them. And she goes, oh, thank you. You're so nice. Thank you. You're so nice. Guys, if you hear that too many times in the night, say I ain't that nice. It's fucking this, this, this. If you hear that too many times, man, just fucking just, just, just discredit that. You know, just say no, nah, I'm not that nice. You know, I got my, I got my time, I got my ways. You know, leave it at that. So don't let just say you're so nice all the time. You know, because then you get ghosted. You said I was nice. I don't know what happened. You know, so don't do that. All right. So, but moving on with like now with this nice guy stuff, it comes off as dishonest. You're hiding something. Something's up with this guy. I can't get a read on him. And they'd rather, see, rather than waste more time, you know, they can't, they can't get a read on you. You're coming off inconsistent, phony, fake. All right? So, um, you know, and at the end of the day, you know, she's going to read. And what's going to happen is you'll either fall into the, there's a couple of phrases here you'll fall into, a couple of, a couple of different phases of friendly, the friendly phases. Okay, the first one you'll come off as um, just nice. In other words, he was just nice, but there was no spark. Okay, um, not attractive. I'm ready to get. I'm, I'm just nice. Or right, number two, you come out as you're nice. He's attractive. He was nice. He was attractive too, but there was no chemistry. Why? He was afraid. He didn't know how to escalate sexual tension. Couldn't spark it up. Had no idea how to do that. So, just because you are nice, you uh, and you're attractive, but there was no chemistry. Okay, she felt nothing for you. Just a nice looking guy. That's it. Just a nice guy. So that's a dub. All right. And then you be the, the then you can fall into the friendly nice conversation. You had a friendly nice guy. So you're the nice friendly guy. You had a good time. You had a good laugh. You guys were laughing and having a ball. But it was just so strictly neutral. It was friendly. There was no sexual. Polarity there whatsoever. She finds you as you could you'll be a, f a friend, text buddy, but she'll put you in a friend zone. We'll talk again sometime. And you will be in the friend zone because you failed too many things. You've done too many displayed too many of these factors here for her to say, you know, maybe uh one day. No. She's already because she's already she already has it. You don't her 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 level, her interest level is below five on this one. All, her attraction level for this, for all these, if you do these things, are going to be below five. Okay? So there's no coming back from that. She's already, got, she already decided where you're going to fit in her box, <laughs> which is not in her box. All right? So, but being nice, you know, the thing about that is that but because she didn't get a read on you, she's not going to trust you, period. So rather than spend any more time trying to figure what you're doing and figure you out, she'd rather move on to someone that knows what's going on, how to interact with her and get her sexually sparked up. Because because if she does like you, even though she likes you, say, so you know what, I'm giving her a chance. You're still a nice guy. You might get a little spark out of her, 
but you're still doing the bad, the nice guy thing. You're still doing the other five things or three or four or two of these things or three of these things. You still have that nice guy vibe out of you. You know, you have to raise her attraction level really high. And your chances are, if you're a very nice guy, it's going to be hard to all of a sudden be a fucking asshole because you're going to do it wrong. Okay? Doesn't mean she wants an asshole, guys. The problem is the asshole guy does more fucked up things right than the nice guy does nice things wrong. You get it? The nice guy's not doing he's doing he's not doing enough bad nice things for her to be attracted. The bad guy is doing more night he's doing more fucked up things, but they come off as if she can excuse those behaviors because they're coming from a real place. That's the problem. You got real He's real fucked up, but that's not how they see it. It's, it's fucked up. He's real because he's authentic. He's a fucking bad attitude. She, she, it'll never, it's not sustainable in most cases. The good guy, the guy she should be with, is going to take care of her and, and, and make sure she has a, a, a provide and all this. That's, that's to her, that's a liar and a sneaky guy. He's got something to hide and, and, and he's, he's, he's screwed up. The, the ideal is to be in the middle, a little bit of both, and provide that spark and those flames and cool, hot, cold, hot, cold. All right, so yo, like, subscribe, like I said, comment below. Yo, this is XL, live your best life. I hope you are too, and I'm out. Whoa.